And joining us now on the Drive Time Podcast is the Dolphins' fifth-round draft pick, number 154 overall out of North Carolina, Jason Strobridge. Jason, welcome to Miami, man. Yes, sir. I'm happy to be here. Got to ask you, everyone gets that phone call at some point on draft day from Chris Greer, Brian Flores, whoever it might have been. How did that phone call go for you? Uh, man, I, I had a few calls. A um, few calls. It, it, it wasn't nothing. It was just family members calling me. But you know, when it rang, it was – my heart stopped. It was just, just – just nervous to pick it up the phone. Um, saw the nine five four number, so I got excited. Um, but then, you know, they they told me they picked me, and it's just, I mean, I can't even believe it. Right now. I'm still in shock. I love it. I love the stunned silence. And you mentioned nine four five. I was gonna or nine five four. I was gonna ask you if it was three oh five. How did it feel seeing that Miami area code being a Deerfield High Deerfield High School product? Yeah, I mean. I mean, like I said, I, I got a few calls from family members with not for four numbers, and you know, I was kind of hesitant at first, but then you know, I picked it up, and it was them. And you know, just being, you know, from from Deerfield and being 40 minutes from the stadium, I mean, it's it's everything to come back uh, and play for play for the whole entire team. Did you ever get a chance yeah. to go out to Hard Rock Stadium as a fan? As a fan, yeah. Um, she, I, I've been to a few games um, in high school. Uh, but yeah, I mean, it's one of the last words, and I can't even talk. <laughs> <laughs> it's perfectly understandable, Jason. Big moment for you here. But I do want to ask. Let's talk about some football. Maybe that's a little bit easier for you. What are the Dolphins yeah. getting on the field in Jason Strobridge? I mean, just a player that's you know always gonna come in, work hard, um, do everything to get better every day. Um, definitely a, a huge team guy. So I mean, there's nobody gonna worry about me. You know, slacking off for doing whatever, and you know, um, just. An all-around just team guy, just um, a hard worker um, and a competitive player. I watched you at the Senior Bowl, Jason, and noticed you were rushing from multiple spots and playing different positions in that game and throughout the practices. Just going off the pro football focus snap count guide right here, they had you in the B gap for 283, over the tackle for 272, and outside the tackle for 111. You're six foot four, 275, long, heavy hands. Versatility goes a long way in this defense. How do you feel that fit is for you in a defense that is so multiple? Yeah, I mean, that's that's kind of the, the, the perfect situation that I'd say um, that I want to be in. I mean, I, I can do a lot. Um, and so being in defense where, you know, I can kind of move around inside and out, I mean, that's, that's right up my alley. So, I mean, I'm excited to get to work. I was just looking at your combine testing numbers. You're in the 90th percentile on 10-yard split, 20-yard split, 40-yard dash, the broad jump. You're in the 80th percentile on the three-cone and vertical jump. How do all those measurables translate to the game on the football field? I mean, you know, this this just shows my athleticism. Um, and it shows that I can, you know, do do you know multiple things. Um, and I have the athleticism to back it up. So I mean, I just being at the combine, you know, that, that was a great, wonderful opportunity to, to showcase my athletic ability. Um, and you know, I, I took advantage of you know every opportunity I had. So. Athletic ability, heavy hands, versatility. If you had to peg down your very best trait, what would it be? Um, versatility. Okay, I, I totally understand that. That's, that's a good answer. And speaking of, you know, your time at North Carolina, your defensive line coach, Tim Cross, praised you for your leadership, both by example and verbally as a senior last year. How important do you think that senior leadership was, and how does that translate to the next level as a professional? Yeah, I mean, you know, in, in, in school, I mean, you got a lot of guys coming in, you know, they, they're, they're, they're really young. Um, you know, college ball is so much faster than high school. So having somebody, you know, that, to, to come by and pick up the young guys, you know, when, when things aren't going right, or, you know, you can kind of see it in the eyes, you know, they're, they're frustrated and all that. Um, you know, just to have someone to come and support you, you know, when, when in, in times of need and, and, and when you don't really want it, um, you know, to, to, to read it, like get on someone or whatever. Um, I mean, it's, 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 it's a good feeling. Um, I know when I came in, I needed someone to kind of guide me, and I got that in Nas Jones. So, you know, it's just something that kind of, wanted to, uh, you know, I just felt like, you know, it's what I had to do, you know. So, and I'll give one more question for you, Jason, here before you get back to your party and enjoy enjoy your draft day. When we, uh, when you have an off day in South Florida, when you're not on the football field, what do you do for fun? Definitely fish. Definitely fish. <laughs> yeah, a lot of your teammates have the same thing already, so you might have some buddies that are out fishing with you. Oh, yeah. And I'm down here in Florida, you know, this is the best fishing, so. Yeah, definitely. Deep sea is the best time, best way to do it. 
Yes, sir. All right, Jason. Well, hey, welcome to Miami, man. We're thrilled to have you, and congratulations once again. Thank you. I'm happy to be here. Appreciate you.